for the three years that she's worked with my husband and I, yes, ma'am. She was very clear from the beginning. She could not clean anything up high. Okay. She was afraid to go up on ladders. You, she that told you she was true. afraid of heights. Three years ago. And so, why would you have her clean above just floor level then? This is how it happened, Your Honor. Okay, tell me. All that she was supposed to do. Um, there were drawers. The contact paper needed to be changed in those, and on the first two levels of shelves. Okay? No one sees those shelves up high. Why would I care if they have contact paper up there? And I was doing a good job. I was going above and beyond. I was above trying and beyond to make because you, you know have not gone high before. Ms. Davidson, you actually submitted a photograph of the shelves in the kitchen, right? Yes, Your Honor. Now, I see you've got your scooter. Is it okay for you to come over here and show me what we're looking at? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, could you do that for me? And Sheriff Matt, help her as much as you can. It just might take me take a little bit. Take your time. Take your time. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. I'm going to have to back in. <clears throat> so, Ms. Davidson, tell us what we're looking at here. So, this is the kitchen where I have cleaned for the past three years. And, Ms. Campbell, that's your kitchen. It is my kitchen. Those Your are Honor. your shelves. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, Ms. Davidson, tell us what this photograph does. And I'd also like to just point out that these are open shelves. So this is, these are not closed cabinets. So everything visually you can see clearly. Ms. Davidson, shelves. where did you find these cookies? Right up here on the very top right-hand corner. So on that top right-hand corner where the circle is, that's where you found these cookies. Yes, Your Honor. And you thought they were just ordinary cookies. Absolutely. That yes, I keep Honor. on the very top. And so, how soon after you ate these cookies did you find yourself feeling faint and eventually fall? It came down and went All up. Back up. And down and went up. And then I had the third cookie. And about 15 minutes had passed. And that's when I knew something was very, very wrong. And I wasn't sure what it was. I wasn't sure if it was because I hadn't eaten or if perhaps I was having a stroke or some medical condition. But, but I didn't have time to really, like, come down and react. I held on to the shelf, and I fell. So you fell off the stool? Yes, Your Honor. Onto the floor? Yes, Your Honor. And that's how you hurt your ankle? Yes, yes, Your Honor. You may go back to your podium. Take your time. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Your Honor. Yes, ma'am. May I approach the screen? Please, Thank please. Thank you. Tell us about your house and your shelves. As you can see, these are drawers, and then there are the open shelves. This row, this row, right here. All she was supposed to do. But she was trying to do a good job for you, right? Yes, Your Honor, she apparently was. <laughs> However, if she was that hungry, why did she keep going up for a cookie? Why didn't she eat her lunch? Your Honor, because I was trying to finish, and so I thought if I had just a small snack, I could just keep going and finish the job. So, Ms. Campbell, well, you bam. understand that, right? You understand she's trying to trying to move this along, get your job done? It just seems very odd to me, Your Honor, that she's never gone on a ladder. And all of a sudden, this day, You've she wants to... You've never asked me to go on a ladder. Time, she wants to do such a good job. She's way up here. Now, listen, I must say, are. cookies and chips are my weakness. The reason I asked about the cookies and leaving them up there, I, not the cookies, the ones you ate... Yes, Your but Honor. ...but the cookies... <laughs> Uh, I would have eaten this whole jar. But, Your Honor, would you climb, if you were afraid of heights, would and you Matt, climb And, Matt, I know you would have eaten two of these jars. Yes, sir. I put them where no one could reach them. Now, how is she supposed to know that they're not just cookies? Your Honor, she... There was no label. There was no label there on them. There wasn't a label what on them. What do you think the label's gonna bones. say? There was nothing on there that said... Hello? ...that I couldn't have the cookies. Ladies, Here's talk the... to me. Talk I'm to me. Sorry, Your, Your Honor. Honor. Yes, ma'am. So, how is she supposed to know... Ms. Campbell, she that, that these cookies have things thing. in them. There's other food down there. See, look at the other cookies over there. She could have eaten those cookies. But, but did you ever say to her, similar to Simba saying, don't go into the dark country, did you ever say to her, <laughs> don't, don't go to those cookies? I never actually said to her, because she's afraid of ladders, don't go up I the ladder and I don't know why you keep saying, saying that. Cup. That's not true. Because that's what you said. So, Ms. Davidson, after you hit the floor, what happened? So, when I hit the floor... And then I, I called my son. And I, at lucky, luckily for us, he was home. Oh, come on. If it were that serious, you would have called 911. He was able to come right away, and he took me to the emergency room. And this is your son you brought to court today? Yes, it is. Sir, would you stand, please, and come to the podium? Yes, Your Honor. For the record, tell me your name. My name is Brian Davidson. So, Mr. Davidson, what do you remember about this? 
Well, my mom called me in the middle of the day. Immediately, as soon as I answered the phone, I knew something was wrong. She did not sound like herself. Did right you think start. your mom was high? Uh, at, at the start, I did not. The only thing I could tell on the phone was that she was, she was just having a hard time pronouncing her words. Like, she, she might have been out of breath or something. She, did you know whether she was injured or not? Towards the end of the call, she told me that she had fallen and she had hurt her ankle and that I needed to come over and help. And then once I got there, uh, I walked inside and I found her on the floor in the kitchen. Uh, she, she was she distraught? Uh, she was. She was crying. She was in pain. She was slow moving. That had to be hard to see your mom like that. One. Yeah, it was, it was very hard. As soon as I walked in, I, I almost started crying right then and there.